So now in the part 4 we are discussing about income and the other criteria. So in the previously we have discussed about income and the other goals. Now we are discussing about income and the criteria of the country. Okay. Criteria means what is important to the country and what the features are going on in the country. So here you can see the equal treatment, security, freedom, respect. For example, if you have only the income goal, you should not see these all things. But if you want to work in a society, you want an equal treatment and security for your respect, like for security for your job, freedom for your uh, living being. Next is respect, the equal respect and no gender bias, equality. Yes, these all things will be done by seeing the income and the other criteria. Here they gave you per capita income per annum of the selected states. So here they have selected the three states that is Punjab, Himachal Pradesh and Bihar. Here you can see the per capita income of the country they are calculating. So you can see the per capita income of the Punjab is 78,000, Himachal Pradesh is 74,000 and Bihar is 25,000. So you can see the per capita income of the country is IA, Punjab that is 78,000 and it is low in Bihar that is 25,000 per capita income of the country. So by comparing only, not only the income of the country, right? Not only the per capita income of the country we should calculate, we should calculate the, the needs of the country are going on or not. By seeing IMR, what is the meaning of IMR? Infant mortality Infant mortality rate, that is IMR, infant mortality rate. So, they gave you the infant mortality rate is 42, 36 and 62 here. They gave you 42, 36 and 62. Here they said, out of 1000 live children born, the number of children who died within one year. So, here they gave you out of 1000 children, out of 1000 children, the 42 children are dying in a year, 36 children are in a year, 62 year. What is infant mortality rate? Infant mortality ante puttina pasi pillalu anamata. Ante days baby suntar gana valani infants anta. Okay. Like without proper nutrition means the lack of nutrition. So many children are dying in this way. So that was see. For example here they gave you the per capita income of the country is 78,000 right. Yes the income of the country is 78,000. But here the infant mortality rate is 42. Infant mortality rate is 42. And here 74,000. Infant mortality rate is 36. And here 25,000. Infant mortality rate is 62. So, while taking the BR here, if you take the BR, that is 25,000, right? In this 25,000, for example, they don't have proper needs to the country. So many children are dying. But here comparing the income of the country is I. But why this 42 number of children are dying in an year? Yes or no? Because of lack of facilities given by the government. By looking into 74,000 that is Himachal Pradesh. You can see by comparing these two states. The 36,000 is less here. Means the infant mortality rate is less. See, Himachal Pradesh is getting 74,000 as an per capita income of the country. But the lack of children means the less number of children are dying in this state. So here they gave you infant mortality rate means out of 1,000 live children born, the number of children who die within a year. So giving 74,000. And only 36 children are dying within one year. Now coming to the literacy rate. What is the meaning of literate? Literate and tainty education. And the chadu kunna vala samkya Okay, literacy rate. As per year they gave you 2011 census. They gave you 77, 84 and year 16. 
four. So by comparing these three states, again the Himachal Pradesh the literacy rate is I. Why? Because the Himachal Pradesh literacy rate is I. Because the government is taking proper care of for the children's education and for the health also. For health and education, the government is taking care. That means the infant mortality rate is low. And compared to the literacy rate also, it is low in the state of Himachal Pradesh. So it is high in the state of Himachal Pradesh. That is 84 percent. 84 percent comparing to the two states. So we can question to the government that year is 78,000. The Punjab income is high. And again the literacy rate is low here. Why? Because not taking care of the proper facilities of the people. Next year they gave you net attendance rate. What is meaning of the net attendance rate? Means the school going children. Here the school going children is 76 in the Punjab. 90 in the Himachal Pradesh and 56 in the Bihar. So, here again the Himachal Pradesh net attendance rate is high, means the school going children are high. So, why? Because only Himachal Pradesh has these kind of facilities. Because the Himachal Pradesh government is taking care of the children's education and health, and they are providing facilities like a government school, PDS. PDS, you know what is the meaning of PDS? Public distribution system. Public distribution system. So the government is taking care of the like Anganwadis, okay? PDS and government schools with midday meals programs. These all things the government is taking care of the Himachal Pradesh. And main thing is proper washroom facilities also for, for, uh, for girls. Clear children? So, in this way, the government is taking care of the people. So, that wise, if the per capita income is less than the Punjab also, the infant mortality rate is less, next literacy rate is high, and next net attendance rate means the school going children rate is 90% comparing to the other states. Clear? And here they gave you literacy rate that is, it measures the percentage of the literate population in the 7 and age, above age group. So they are telling the literacy rate. So more than 7 age group of the children. Understood? Until 7 years, the literacy rate is Okay? It measures the percentage of the literate population more than means above 7 and age group of the children. Next year, they gave you net attendance rate here. Out of total number of children in the age group of 6 to 17, the percentage of attending schools. Here they gave you this percentage, right? That is 6 to 17 age group of children. Understood? 6 to 17 age group of the children who are attending the, who are attending the regular schools. Clear children? Okay, next to they gave you here, see. In the first column, so you can look here into this table. Yes, in the first column they gave you about the infant mortality rate. In the second column they gave you about the literacy rate. And third column about the net attendance rate. So here they gave you, out of 1000 children born alive, 36 died before completing of 1 year of age. So here they are telling about the Himachal Pradesh. And they, out of 1000 children, and the very month below, Mukpayaru month pillalu, okay, Samachram Lopalane, Sanipoyar and Mata. Adamanda, that is infant mortality rate calculation. So, next year they gave you in Punjab, the number of children dying within a year is 42. So, next is Punjab is 42, and next comparing to BR, that is I, that is 62. And half of the children going age do not attend the schools. So, Bihar no Emantanaru, the half of the age group of the children, they did not attend the schools. See, if the government is proper, like taking care of the people, because we are we are living in a democratic country, yes, right or no, we are living in a democratic country. So, the government should be take care of all the things which are going on in the 
society. They have to give proper residence to the people, okay, and they have to take proper, like, they have to take care of the facilities of the people. Like, for example, PDS, literacy rate, see, literacy rate should be increased. Why? Because, see, the government should provide proper schools to the children. Understood? Proper schools to the children. And the government should provide free education and free health to the all the people. Clear? That time the country will be not a developing. It should be a developed country. Thank you.